When we have a dream, the only way to manifest that dream, to make it happen, is to change who we are. If that that I want to be is something in the future, then I need to change to be that person in the future that has that dream already manifested. And within this lies all the law of attraction and all the difficulty in changing. Because if I don't change who I am today, I won't be that person that owns that dream. May that be, I'm dreaming of a big house, or I'm dreaming of a car, or I'm dreaming of being a healer. Whatever it is I'm dreaming and I want to manifest it, that means that I am going to be a different person than the person I am today. And you could say, yeah, well, good. Well, how, how do I do it? And that's exactly where this lies in the manifestation steps. When I decide I want to do something, I have to close my eyes and dream in my own body who this person is that has that dream already under their belt, that has that dream already manifested. And then I take a line from who I am and what I am right now, and I draw it all the way to how that person looks like, how the person speaks like, how the person acts. And I find the in-between steps. The biggest step is the first step, and the biggest step is that step towards changing, and that's where we all get stuck. Because I want to be me. I feel and I've been told everyone's so unique and I am unique and everyone's just like no one else. So there is this idea around this that I want to preserve who I am. And I think that's one of the biggest problems and one of the biggest misguidances along the way. I am who I am today. If I want to preserve who I am, that means I will never evolve. If I got this idea and notion that I wanted to absolutely preserve who I am when I was five, I would be here as a grown man speaking to you as a five-year-old. If I really held on to my ideas as a 16-year-old teenager, I'll be here as a 60-year-old man talking to you as a 16-year-old person. So I invite you to let go of the idea of preserving who you are. Who you are is something that is ever changing. If you want to evolve, if you want to come to the next place and the next chapter of your life, the only way to do it is by changing. No, you don't lose your identity. You might have to let go of some trauma. You might have to let go of some patterns. And when you do so, you begin to unlock who you truly are and what we truly are. And what we truly are is this beautiful miracle of a witness and a being, being, not something that's static, not something that you can put in a box. We are witnesses to what is unfolding in the time as time goes by. And in that, when we can let go of old ideas, of old trauma, of old patterns, then and only then we can make the space to create our new next chapter in life, a new way of being. Till that comes to completion, and from that place, having arrived, having completed, having uh, being that, then we could see what's the next chapter? Who do I want to be when I'm 65? Who do I want to be when I'm 70, 80, 90, 105? And from there, be inspired. Use that as a board, a springboard to move to the next chapter. So stop holding on to yourself. <laughs> Because maybe you don't want to be the five-year-old self. Maybe you don't want to be the 10 or 15-year-old or 20-year-old self. Maybe you want to be the self in the now that is being creative, that is being changing and evolving.